At this point in time, Jonetta is getting boring. Jonetta think he's above reproach. He's above addressing the mess. He didn't even thank me for telling people not to say he got the house in Virginia. He didn't even thank me for sending him the email that I emailed to the USTPO to stop that woman from having and registering the trademark. Y'all didn't know that, right? He didn't even thank me for that. You know what? I got blocked. Like I care. You getting bored. We like you to get out of your body is what we do. You bully Darius Cook not to talk about you. You bully Gabe acting like you're there. You're friends with them and all the problems and stuff resolved. We gonna forever have a problem with you. Why? Cause this motherfucking content. Please hit the like. It's Dragon Tail time. Yes, indeed. We gonna hit you up every time. Every motherfucking day. Never end. Dragon tails, dragon tails. It's almost time for dragon tails. Come along, take my hand. Let's still go to dragon land. What's up, everybody? Who big dog in this bitch? Ha! <laughs> I want to tell Joe Nettison, Robinson, Bill Cosby, Jesus Christmas, Holiday Hard. I got the bike holiday. You ain't going to sit up here and continue to drag people. You're not going to sit up here and continue to talk, talk about me. Charles do not want you no more. <laughs> my door is wide open, and this is a serious, serious, serious gesture. Charles, you can spend a night here with me as mm. long as you want. I believe you don't he's have to serious. Pay any bill. You don't have to worry about eating. We're going to eat really, really well. <laughs> I am far from broke. Are you gonna spray the are you gonna spray the canned butter on a croissant or are you gonna use real butter? I yeah, make sure you get some can. plastic kind of black peas. Can I can I say something? Cause I get some Look at Hillary. Uh, Look at Hillary. Not you done filed the fake lawsuit against Joe Netta to attach your name to Joe Netta and you still getting ignored, okay? <laughs> Sit down somewhere, Hillary. Looking like James Brown with that hard ass goddamn face and that Mexican boy red for you with your broke ass. Oh, Lord. I never get my song for Laquanda. Can I do my remix of my song real fast, y'all? Yeah. And we can continue the conversation. Cha, 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 cha. No bumps already. They only burst for you. Cha, 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 cha. No bumps already. And we got the dessert too. Mm. Looking for my hater. They coming for me. Back off me, Netta. You don't want this disease. Ooh. I'm tired of these hands. Mm -mm. Coming for me. Cha, 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 cha. Ready? Cha, 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 cha. Cha, cha, what? What's so crazy is Hip Miss Hillary said, "Back up, Miss Netta. You don't want this disease." And that right there was telling. It's all I needed to know. Cha, ah, ah, you got that shit. Now Joe Netta think he done made it. Cause you know he say them fleets, them seasonings is flying off the rail. Word on the curb, but Joe Nettin made a million plus dollars off of the seasonings. Okay, when I say a million plus, he probably didn't pocket it. You know the company that's making the season that look like bath salts and scrubs. Them look like the same people that's packaging shit for Bath Body and Beyond. You gonna kill somebody with that bullshit in that job? <laughs> Niggas ain't in your season, Joe Netta. Niggas got that shit so they can make videos to pick and poke at you. I don't know what you think you're doing with this old ass Pikachu shirt on. Looking like Blast Toys with a Pikachu shirt on. Let's be clear about that, okay? Water neutralized and get shocked and electrocuted by this motherfucking Pokemon right here called Pikachu. Your face need to be electrocuted. I'm talking about some electrolysis to pull them seeds, them big ass deep ass seeds up out your face. We here to pick at the goddamn seed. Now, to what you cooking, girl? What is you cooking? We don't want to hear no complaining with your boring ass, bitch. We ain't gonna be talking about you until you get back it's out of your goddamn body. Mm -hmm. 
no, no. Please I'm hit the like, yo. Mm. Mm, baby. Look what I done brought you. Baby, have I got a surprise for you? This is not fun, but it is just the way you like it. You guys kill me! No, 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 look out now, baby, don't be that way! We are here this morning. But anyway, you guys, hey, how y'all doing? Happy Saturday. It is a beautiful Saturday today. Um, Again, like I want to tell you guys, y'all... Give yourself a hand. I'm going to give you a hand to y'all. Thank y'all so much for the orders, uh, for the seasoning and stuff. Y'all, I really appreciate y'all. Can y'all, like, can y'all please just order the seasonings and everybody who want to go viral do a TikTok video? That's ain't nobody ordered that, but them. Nobody. Ain't nobody ordered that. And if you were smart, you would have opened up a TikTok shop to get the little kids that laugh and poke at you with they with their parents' credit card already stored in their TikTok account and their phone to where they click a button and get it. That's the scam on TikTok. Y'all see them products that they be advertising. TikTok shop. One click, one and done. You can't take it back. That's almost like the kids that be in the house spending up all the money on the video games. They got their parent credit cards in the video game. They spend three, four hundred dollars on it. The parents get the bill back. What are you doing? You spending my money. They call PlayStation. They call TikTok. You can't get no receipt back. You can't get no get back. You got to press charges on your child who hit that butt. So if he was really smart, he would have put it up on the TikTok mark. And I ain't going to tell you, bitch, I talked to your manager. And I would have been helping you if you was going to give me a piece of that pie. But I ain't none of Carlos. Let's be clear. <laughs> Lord knows I don't want none of your pie anyways. As much sugar as you put in your collard greens, bitch. I know you put a fucking candid, candid pie. Thank y'all so, so much. And thank y'all so much for y'all support that's going on out here, y'all. Thank y'all for supporting Miss Nell and Charles. We just overwhelmed. We so happy. Thank y'all so much. And again, like I told y'all yesterday, y'all, y'all bought us out. Yes, y'all did. But guess what? We done <laughs> and we ready to go again okay so y'all make sure fertilizer get those seasonings those seasonings on our website which is uh mrs netta charles.com again it's mrs netta charles.com y'all y'all trying to get them seasonings y'all we back in stock we ready for those orders y'all come back and we ready to go 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 okay all right again okay so i'm not cooking nothing big today uh today is saturday ain't no sense to make no big old dinner so what i'm gonna do for charles and i today we're gonna have uh turkey and ham and bell i mean banana peppers and pepperonis and cheese sliders that's what i'm making today so um sweet tea yeah sweet tea and meatloaf and coca-cola and the gizzards i'm so sick of this nigga at this point my knife Let me was spin this shit like up. One day I was like, cut myself on the knife. Like, wow. But anyway, they sharp knife and sharp. Anyway, but that's what we doing today. We doing these sliders here. And I'm using um King Hawaiian rolls to do my Now, you can't go wrong with King Hawaiian roll. I can eat them by themselves. I don't know about y'all. Um, to do my bread. I mean, my sliders. So what I do is I usually uh, put my King Hawaiian buns in the oven and let them get hard and then cut them up. But I see sometimes that just, you know... That's a mess too, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll just cut it up like this and just go for what I know. But anyway, I just mm, take mm. the knife. Right here, I gotta get a good grip on this, so. Just take the knife, and just by the knife being sharp, I'm just gonna take the knife and just cut them. Cut into them just like that. I don't wanna smash them too hard, because these buns, uh, do, do, do. Hawaiian rolls are soft. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I do. I just take the knife and I just go through one. Just like this. Take the top off. Mm -hmm. See, cut easy, uh, soft too. I ain't having no problem. Like I can tell you. But I'm trying to not touch my felt any cut. It'll get you. So yeah, make sure you get all through there. Mm -hmm. When you cut me, baby. You want to just pull them right off. I don't want to put too much pressure on them. Like I said, I don't want to smash them. I take the form off of them. But they ain't so bad to cut. But, uh, you gotta be careful. Oh, look at them fanging nails. Just be careful. 
I'm gonna go back around it again and make sure I got feel like I'm cutting uh uh okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take this yeah. one i'm gonna put the plastic back over it and he, he cut himself then wash it off just continue to cut and bleed on the bread now this is enough food to feed the whole neighborhood he gonna go right out there and feed somebody his blood jonetta give me the type with the dirty blood and jealous because somebody else stats might be negative and his is positive and he want to get him whatever he got and i'm just gonna flip it over upside down that's why he's trying to get charles diabetes if he ain't already got it you gotta be careful with this stuff too flip it over upside down it look like from the look of it mm -mm. you just gotta be careful when you cutting this thing because it will i'm just gonna take that part but what's so special it. about this? You gonna use some clucking chicken on this or what? I went in a little too deep on it, but um, a little bit, got a little hole in it, but the ham and stuff is going first, so it's not going to bleed through the cheese and stuff. But yeah, so, all right. Baby, do voice. Baby, dookie voice. Baby, dookie voice. Baby, dookie voice. Well, no, it ain't. It's not voice. supposed to be like that. Baby, dookie voice. There ain't no gas to it. It just needs to be put do, 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 up on. Baby, do, 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 dookie voice. Push push I'm still trying to figure out what exactly is he doing. Now, now it ain't no gap in it. It just needed to be pushed over. Okay, so how what I'm gonna do now? I got some honey ham. Take the honey ham. He ain't, he's he's still top. bleeding. His hand is bleeding because he cut it. He still ain't washing and putting the honey ham on the sink. Oh, like I told you, this nigga worse than a bitch putting blood in her pot of spaghetti. I'm sorry, I need to be showing y'all this. <laughs> right here. Okay. Sorry about that. Get overwhelmed a little bit when you're on here, you be forgetting. Uh, uh. Okay. Right and he ain't even rinsed the meat or nothing. Then I'm going to put some provolone cheese. That ain't enough. You you going to put double meat on top of the cheese? That's not enough meat. They got more cheese than me. Okay. And now I go the ham, and now I'm gonna use turkey. Mm, that's how I, I told you. Jonetta's infecting niggas with the food, whether it's diabetes, hepatitis C, or some. So I would, I would rather throw up my whole guts and be at the inch of my life for three days before I eat anything from you, bitch. I'd be like Diddy sitting in the jail cell. Saying that I ain't eating the food because I'm getting out knowing goddamn well he ain't finna get out. Oh, Lord. Then what you do with the turkey, you just take the turkey and you just lay the turkey on top of that, too. Right. We going to see. What's up, Shanita? How you doing? Mm. Also have some How can you eat after watching this, though? I gotta do it. Come to fry with that. 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 Come to fry with that
ain't with that. You know, y'all make y'all sliders, y'all can make them however y'all want to make them. Put whatever meat y'all want to put on it. But today we doing ham and turkey. You can do corned beef. You can do tur uh, uh, roast beef. Whatever you whatever meat you choose. But right now we doing ham and turkey. Let me put this mozzarella cheese on top of it. And then your oven when you make this stuff. You put your oven on low heat. Mm. You want the cheese to melt. You don't want it to be still, you know, like this. You want it to melt down. Wait a minute. All that cheese? Your asshole gonna be stopped up and with all next, that. I'm going the next meat I'm gonna I thought on. you just had a gastric bypass. You know you lactose intolerance after one of them. Yeah, you got way more cheese than meat. It's gonna be mm -hmm. My nephew been coming over here and stuff, so he's been tearing down a little pepperoni, but I got some. I'm just gonna throw one on top of that. <laughs> Pepperonis. Mm. So he making a pizza casserole with Hawaii rolls. Is he going to put this in the oven? Because, you know, you don't have to put this in the oven, Joe. Again, like I said, y'all, again, thank y'all so much for the orders and stuff that y'all order for the um, for the seasons and stuff. I really, really, really appreciate it. Y'all see, I appreciate it because I can't stop thanking you. But y'all, thank y'all so much for the orders. Thank y'all so much for y'all support. We just love y'all. Mm -hmm. And then I got a piece of ham and turkey left. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna split this turkey up. I'm gonna put a little turkey right here, put a little turkey right there. Then ham, I got two pieces of ham. I'm gonna split this up too. Put a little piece of ham right here, put a little piece of ham right here. Split this one right here. Just make sure I got meat. Right, put a little piece of ham right there. Put a little piece of ham right here. Okay, make it flat. I don't want it okay. Now, I'm gonna now put cheese, and this is just American cheese. I'm just gonna lay this on top. And this is the last, last layer, because I'll I be wanting my uh, my bread and stuff to stick. So this cheese gonna stick to this bread, and it's gonna be a slider. You can dip it in something, but you don't need to open it up and add no mayo or lettuce and tomatoes and all that stuff in it. But if you like to, you can. But and it's all this cheese, that's why the purpose of all this cheese, I told you to cook it low because we're using a lot of cheese. Damn. Mm -mm. Nah, he didn't nah, he didn't fucked up. Bitch, you didn't use government cheese. That shit don't melt. That ain't nothing but plastic. You can have that cheese sitting in some lava. It ain't gonna melt. It ain't, it's gonna be fully intact. It'll get a little warm and soft and you know, soggy like slime and shit, but that shit don't melt. You done fucked all this up putting that government cheese on it. You were supposed to shave some Kobe Jack cheese or some on that, not the government cheese. How you got all these cheese and then government cheese? Bitch, put that shit in somebody's now, lunch box. Of mozzarella, I ain't use no mozzarella. Uh -uh. Somebody said, is that an old lady? Oh, you must be new to Joe Nessie. Oh, no. It's a whole nigga. <laughs> That's too much cheese. That's a clogged artery. How you expect Charles to hit it from the back when you gonna have all this cheese and your sister be stopped up and push a dookie? You, Armand Wiggins, all y'all ain't doing up but diggity dookie no these days. I lied. I got one more. And it's banana pepper. Oh, Lord. We knew he couldn't survive without banana pepper. And act, go get the accent seasoning and the sugar that we know you want to sprinkle on it. Let me give me a bowl because I don't want no juice in it. Now he want to get a bowl. I Bitch, when know. you going to wash your hands and that shit been bleed? Charles love banana pepper. I told Charles that <laughs> they you. don't have no little banana pepper. I said they only got the big one. He was like, well, shoot, get the big one. I said, well, they ain't going to last long. I mean, they're going to, you know, go bad. And he's like, no, nah, we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And I just eat them. If I have to eat them, I said, all right, then. But we don't need this. <laughs> you know, just like I told you, we need all that ham and stuff. I'm just going to throw this. 
on top of this. All them banana peppers. Uh uh. Uh uh. To hit the bread to make it. So, but you got more banana peppers and cheese on them. Hell no. I guess the meat just there just because. You know how you got to put some on some like a, you know, if you make a tuna casserole, you know you got to put mayonnaise like in the tuna if you don't, even if you don't like it. That's a banana. Oh my goodness. We love the banana peppers. Uh, uh. You supposed to put them bitches on the side. Between the banana peppers and that government cheese, that shit is a mess. Let's be clear. Yes, there's blood on his shirt. Where he wiped his face, his finger still bleeding. Ain't nobody eating that but Charles, his mom, and Joe Netta. They all look like they dying of the same disease. Ah! Oh, no. Okay, now that's done. This is how this looking, y'all. It's heavy, too. It's heavy. Do, do, do. We don't care. What I do now is I just take this. This nigga breathe. acting like he done presented us with a cl- uh, 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 uh a plate of king crab legs or some shit where we don't care if it's heavy we don't care if it's too much seasoning too much butter too much sauce you know hold the potatoes and corn get more crab leg with your broke ass you know you can't afford oh, that mm-hmm. we don't give a fuck about no sliders the but the bread gonna be soggy the bottom bread gonna be soggy at the end of the day you might well eat that shit with some crackers because it's yeah. soupy just like that it comes up just like that i just feed it right on top mm-hmm Right on top. What's and up, Letitia? I'm finna, finna mm, mm. Charles said, put the banana pepper in the refrigerator. I told he, oh, look at that faha and that booty pad. Ass is getting fatter and fatter every day. This nigga got a wedge in his booty pad and he don't feel it because it's the booty pad. Look at it. We seen you in the pool twerking with the booty pad on. You still got that booty like it's a neck bone. Even roll it and went to Gold's Gym three, four times and she still ain't got no ass in the wide back. And you mean to tell us Gold's did this on you? Where your shit look like it's pumped like a basketball? It went from nothing. Look like look like a fucking jump rope back there. And now you got a pump skill basketball. That's why I was happy when that white boy packed your ass up. And you smell like shit. Because you can't wipe your ass. You oh. testing, testing. Can you guys hear me? Oh shit. What did I do? Can you guys hear me? Let me know if you guys hear me. Oh. Okay, cool. My bad. I pressed something wrong. Yeah, he can't wipe he can't wipe his butt. That's why Skittles, the white boy that was on 21 versus 1 versus 2. That's why he said that Jonetta smelled like Dookie. Jonetta, go to the bathroom, take off all of this, and then squat the pee, squat. He probably wiped from the front and get all that Dookie and that nasty hair. You know he got gray hair down at this point and put that faha and that booty pad back on. And I bet you stink. I bet you that booty pad smelled like dumpster juice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't care if you fixing it for you and your significant other. You bleeding? You need to wash your hands. That's food. That's why don't nobody need to eat at his house. His arms alone. Man, thank you for saying his. Cause somebody said, is that an old lady? Child, but I like to block your ass for life. Talking about, is that an old lady? He been saying he's a whole man. Give me a minute, y'all. I'm trying, I'm trying to get the bubble together. Right here, I got some garlic butter. I got some garlic butter. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Is he gonna use sugar this time? <laughs> The butt gonna be on fire from the peppers. The butt gonna be stopped up from the cheese. He ain't gonna wipe it. He really believed this faha is his actual butt. He really believed that. He really believed that. He got in the pool with all of that shit on. 
Thank you, Butterfly. I appreciate you. Thank you, sweetheart. Take it. And I'm just going to rub it on top. It ain't honey butter. You know, y'all know you're white and roll, already sweet. I didn't eat no honey butter. I got garlic. Mm mm. I don't have a knife with that. Come in the fry 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 with that. Baby dookie voice, dookie voice. I'm just rubbing it, I'm playing it. Baby, do do do, baby, do do do, baby, do do do, dookie voice. Y'all see it? Not okay, the top gonna be just the side against the bottom. For the sliders. Y'all, it's up and ready. Let's go. And y'all know he called himself blocking me on TikTok. Like I give a fuck. Bitch, I'm gonna pick even harder. I'm gonna pick even harder. So, Liz. Oh, that almost made my skin crawl, Angie. I almost blocked your ass. You talking about did not better stop before Miss Netta sent him a sample of food in the mail? Oh, yes, garlic on sweet rolls. Banana pepper cheese slide. That's just what it is. With a little tiny slide bit of meat. You would think they vegetarian. What lies he finna tell now? Nah. Uh oh, he's trying to clean it up, show us what's good with the orange hand cloth. It's full of blood. He said he's tired and thirsty from making some sliders. And ain't nothing but liquor or Kool Aid in that cup. Okay, y'all. Again, like I said, I just want to thank y'all again for supporting me and Charles. Uh uh. Thank y'all so much for all the love. <sighs> I didn't see no deals yesterday. Yeah, this was finna. He the seasons just came out. So I expected to fly out the ship. He said he made a million dollars already off of these seasons. You know, after this week, you know, this is the weekend. Come next week, everybody who gonna order the season already got it. Niggas just want people to pick. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers wait for my review of the season. And other people, oh, I'm gonna start my TikTok and YouTube career. They ordered your seasoning. Let's be clear, they ordered your seasoning. So them numbers gonna slow down. Them numbers definitely going to slow down. Let's be clear about that. So it's only a matter of time when we see how your long, egg-ass face. And by the time them slow down, oh, I'm releasing the cookbook. Now I got a cookbook. You ain't got no evergreen products, no nothing. Bitch, you selling cat litter. Till Kemp said you got, you selling fertilizer to people. <laughs> but I did tell a lot of people that um, in, order for, in, order for, in order of being attacked, you know, those are the ones that, that you know, they want, don't want to deal with it and stuff. Don't post no reviews and stuff up because, you know, it's a little hate train out there with Miss Netta, but it's okay. But um, I do appreciate y'all for purchasing the season. Okay? Hate train. Oh boy. It ain't nobody hating on you. People entitled to their opinion. And ain't nobody lying on you. Shit, ain't no, if anything, you the closest, you the biggest liar on the internet. The biggest delusional liar. Shit, Jaguar right, lie on other people. You lie about yourself. Put a one in the chat if y'all can't wait that I get my fertilizer. I mean my Miss Netta season. Yeah. I'm gonna 
I done said all I had to say. I done thank y'all several times and gonna keep thanking y'all more, 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 and more, and more. And I know y'all don't wanna be on this live to keep healing Miss Nella saying thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. We good. I really do appreciate We it. want That's you to hit. I'm, we... I'm so happy. Mm, about mm. About y'all, please don't buy no more seasoning at this point. Because I ain't finna be talking about him. He a little bit too happy. He a little bit too comfortable. After disrespecting y'all and making all the money he can off of y'all buying them season. Sit at home. That's what I like. I can sit at home and run my business. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start. I'm going to be a business person. I'm going to sit at home and, and run my business. Get somebody, get somebody else to run them. That's going to be the man. Mm -mm. That's what I'm working on now. Make enough, make enough money where I can pay somebody to run the business for me and I just sit at home and just count the money and spend it. That ain't going to work. You just had a manager. Well, of course, I got to visit the business sometimes. But I can't sit at home all, all the time, every day. So I, want, I got all types of stuff I'm planning on to do with this, this money that's going to occur from this season and, and uh, alcohol beverages and all that stuff. I got a lot of fake ideas and stuff that I want to do. And it, some of those ideas include you guys, too. You might not know. I don't want to brag and I don't want to... Um, Get nobody hopes up uh, being called a liar. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it silent and I'm gonna move in silence. And um, when it's time for it to happen, then that's when I let y'all know. But I got all the type of points. He worse than Jag. See, Jag can't even keep a YouTube platform. She know they're gonna take it from her. Cause them other niggas gotta make money and clicks and views off of her. This my Jonetta's like Andrew Cadwell. Always got a master plan and a new trick up your sleeve that don't really come into fruition. This shit with the seasoning, like I told you, niggas want commentary. That's it, okay? And when you release the cookbook, I might get the cookbook and might go right up in there with a star crunch glued to my face and pick and poke at your goddamn ingredients because all we know is shit. You need your main ingredients. You need to put a disclaimer in your book when you make a cookbook. If you ain't got no onions, bell peppers, banana pepper, and sugar, you can't cook with Jonetta. Me and Charles got a uh, oh, no. take care of Monday. <laughs> We got the business to take care of Monday, so we will be out of town. That part. <laughs> Let me stop lying. We ain't going away. <laughs> we know. So lying ass. If they ain't coming along, great. Uh, I'm going to call Charles right In, an in another thing, I want you guys to know. I want you guys to know. He said he's a business person because he's selling seasoning. Nigga, you doing private labeling drop, sh drop shipping. You got real people who actually bought their product, designed their product, private labeled their product, and got it in bulk. Got a whole bunch of product that they don't know if they're going to sell, how fast they're going to sell it. That's what it means to have a legitimate business on Shopify or something. You don't have any of that, nigga. If we seen that seasoning in your house, I feel like the only reason you making money because it's private labeling. If that shit was in your house, we wouldn't be buying that shit. Because we know it'd be shit crusts and dingleberries all throughout it. And it already looked like that. Them big ass clumps in it. But y'all, what y'all got going on in here tonight? I'm babysitting. Why am I babysitting? Um, my niece is coming over here to spend the uh, weekend with us, and she got a new baby. So uh, we're gonna have a baby in the house. Uh, Wait a minute, they, Hillary Sanchez got caught with Joe Net on Monday. That shit ain't gonna go no well. What state does Hillary Sanchez t didn't even file it in the real court? You think Joe Netta gonna drive up to this court and defend you or whatever? That shit so frivolous, Joe Netta ain't even got to respond. The court going to be like, oh, you didn't even properly service this. That's why they didn't respond. By the time you properly service it, it's going to be, they're going to say, oh, no, it's, it's dismissed. What you, what Hillary Sanchez got that's worth at least $75,000? Looking like James Brown. What Hillary Sanchez got? That's why I ain't fall into that. You doing any and everything for a click and a view. Girl, child, Hillary, your moment is over. Let's be clear. I mean, um, not a toddler, a newborn. Yeah, my niece, I threw the baby shower for and all that other stuff. She had the baby. You know she had the baby, you know. <laughs> she had the baby, the baby four months now, and um, they're coming over to spend the weekend with Miss Nana and Charles. Oh, well, of course, my great nephew, you know, he's coming to join the party. He just loves staying here with me because uh, I guess he just think I let him do anything. You know, he'll be 16 years old on his birthday. And I guess he just let me do anything. He just do anything. And that's what his mama say sometimes. Like, Jeremiah can't come and spend the night over there this weekend. Why? Because you let him play on his phone. You let him play his game. You let him, and I tell him not to. I let him no, 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 sweetheart. She get That lady giving you an excuse. You just said Jeremiah is 16 years old. That lady don't want to hurt your feelings. That lady feel like you grooming her son to be gay. 
You over there, you successful. You acting like you got the most money over in that little small town. You got more money than his money. Mama. He ain't doing up but playing video games with Charles and stuff. He see Charles chilling and he see you making the money and act like y'all all stars. You gonna convince him to get with a whole nigga just like you. Let's be clear. That lady don't want her son turned out and I don't blame her. I don't blame her. She don't even want him on the internet next to you. I'm pretty sure your Wi-Fi, your hot spot, all of that shit got all the gay porn in it. And you are detriment in an Obama nation to anybody child around you, even the baby. I wouldn't even bring no baby around you. Oh, no. Okay, so you know, Charles got the games and all this stuff here, too. Charles got multiple games. So, we got a game. Hide your kids. We got games in both rooms. Put your kids under the bed. And, uh, Charles, uh, game room. So, if Charles want to go put your mother. Game, Put your stuff. kids under the bed. This Lock Nation monster's on the loose. We gonna lasso this motherfucker up out of here, though. Uh, Playing with people's kids. And play that game, too. So we got games in the gift room and in this game room. So my niece be like, because he played a game all night. I called him yesterday at 12, 12 uh, p.m. And he said he was still asleep. And I know he was up all night playing that game. And I'm like, girl, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> I'm just like a grandma. I don't know what he was doing, baby. I, I thought he was asleep. I went back there in the life of I was coming. He was asleep. You know how grandparents laugh for their grandkids, you know, because they feel that's their job, you know. She you know, lied because she don't want her child next to you, let's be clear. You know, so I, I'm a, um, that's my great nephew, so I guess I could be a grandparent to him, and, and he come here. He don't act to come. He'll wait till she say come over here, and that's here with you. Like, okay, thank you. I was going to ask you that, but you giving me the opportunity. But I'd be like, okay, girl. And if she watching me now, yeah, girl, I do it, girl. I'm so sorry. I, I, I really am. But yeah, but that part. I'm pretty sure they get a chance to eat some sliders too. And I ain't cooking a chocolate at me. He said, What you cooking with the sliders? Uh uh. I said, What the hell you want me to cook with the sliders? I'm like, What you want from sliders and mashed potatoes or uh, sliders and some uh, baked beans? I mean, what do you want? You know, so like I told him, we got plenty of bags of potato chips. It's like a sandwich. It's a, it's a sandwich. It's not a cold cut sandwich. It's a hot sandwich. But just eat a bag of potato chips. Duh. Baby dookie voice. Baby dookie voice. Dookie voice. Right. Maybe the kids can play connect the dots with the bumps. Mm. But it smells good. I smell the garlic butter on the top of it. I smell the meat. I smell the. I even smell the banana pimples. Okay. I'm telling y'all, that's what's going on. And then my uh, auntie said, "You put banana pimples in the oven on a sandwich?" Yes. I said, "Auntie, they put banana pimples on a pizza." Get with the program. <laughs> Uh -uh. My auntie 85 years old, and I just love my auntie. She say something weird. Your auntie know how to cook. <laughs> so that means that all the women in your life, your family ain't proud of you. Not even the women with your punk self. They ain't even teach you how to cook. So you just get in there throwing shit together. They say, you put banana peppers on this. You put sugar on this. Your auntie said she didn't like sugar on her pork chop. And we still see you dipping in some sugar like it was, you know, L'Oreal seasoning salt or some yeah, shit. Some of the, the, um the funniest, weirdest argument. You know how you go and you just bust with them just for no reason, just to make them bust back with you? That's what we do. We go there and she'll say something like, I came in the door the other day, she, she, she still drive too. And uh, her car, but she parked her car right, right by her, um, right by her, um, baby dookie voice. Her step, so she can get in, so she'll be right there by her step when she get out of the car, she's right there by herself. So that's close to the house. So I came up there yesterday and I'm like, Auntie, I was like, what are you doing? She said, what you mean? I said, you, 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 if you get in that car and you put your car, try to put your car in reverse the bag up, you know your car gonna just scoop just... Chai, we good. All right, he finna so take this shit out the stove. It's gonna be extra hard, but once I cover this bread up with this little pan thing I got, it's gonna make bread fall down. Y'all, please hit the like. Please hit the like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you. He about to take the... Uh, the, the garlic but the garlic butter Hawaiian rolls with a, with about two slices of ham on it, five layers of cheese and banana pepper. He didn't took it off. Butter. Let me get my water now. Y'all see what I say dark skin? Okay, burn. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Child, that shit look just like that chemical pill that you had. Okay. So let me take this butter. Again? Mm-mm. That shit ain't even melt. You put, you, I bet you can pull the whole top off it. Y'all let it drunk two things. The banana peppers refusing to let everything melt. That in the government cheese. I can't. Y'all see what I say? Dark skin. 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 Do, 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 do
No, we we bust one arm open. All right. All right, so there's one. Shaw bought the car. We're going to be a lot for you. Bust one arm open. Okay, this ain't even hot. I didn't even pick that up. Let's go to Facebook because we know that they didn't do. Oh, this is my uh, this is my actual personal Facebook, which, by the way, I had a couple of people from YouTube on my personal Facebook. I slid up and found them fornicating with the op, picking and poking. Bitch, get the fuck away from me. Cussed that bitch out and blocked and deleted her. Don't come back around me. How you hanging out with the ops, liking the ops videos when they talking about me? They got to talk about me to get shit going where you can stay over there. Had to block that motherfucker from my Facebook. I don't see no videos that they done did with this goddamn uh, cheat, the sliders. Because it ain't no good. Let's be clear about that. But what I do see over on TikTok, Joe Netta and Charles sitting up here looking like they happily love it ever after. I don't know how old this picture is, these pictures. What kind of mess? Lord have mercy. It's a wonder we was fooled that Joe Netta was a woman. Look at this right here. This big ass nigga. Big ass nigga in a bathtub. Like, oh, Y'all remember on Valentine's Day, Joe Netta said that he was finna jump out of his clothes and Charles said, uh-uh, I gotta go. Within three seconds of saying that, Charles don't want you. Let's be clear, Charles. Do not want you. That's the picture right there from Valentine's Day. They had to force the smile. We seen the video. We seen the video. They ain't, he ain't want you. He looked like he was just there to do a job and hurry up and go play his video games and go on back to the person he loved, whoever that is. Okay, don't nobody want you, Joe Nessie. You paying off everybody in the city and everybody in the town not to come out against you, okay? Don't you sit up here and act like you don't know what house in Virginia mean. I ain't got no house in Virginia. I don't even own property in Virginia. You know what the fuck them people meant. You got that shit. That's what they meant. And the time, time to, oh, oh my gosh, not you looking like Shamar Shark Bite right there. Not you. Is this before or after the veneer? It looked like it was after the veneer. And you still got a shark bite. Please don't look like that no more. Absolutely not. Please stop making Charles look like he got some muscle when they ain't number fat with them Ninja Turtle lobster abs glued on top of it on him. And he be out there trying to do push ups and weights. Motherfucker go from one to three, one to 300 push ups in just one little movement. Be out there sweating. Black and blue, he watching the cars, he watching eight dogs and doing all of that shit just to get away from you, Joe Netta. And according to Skitter, what Skitter said on 20 versus 1, he said, you smell like dog crap. That's why Charles don't mind taking care of uh, eight dogs because they all smell just like you and look like you. Look at that mild. Not you. You better not be letting nobody take no picture of you just like that. Bitch, you definitely look like that creature from the Loch Ness Monster. Let's lasso your ass up out of here. cha <laughs> Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. What y'all think about Joe Nessie? Do you think Joe Nessie's at peace and is going to be happily gay ever after for him and Charles? Or are we waiting for the mess? Because let me tell you something. As soon as he give it, we're going to be right here to report it.